Have you ever thought that maybe people are hating you because they wish that they could be you? Or when they don't realize that really that they should be working on being themselves? I was just thinking about Prince, right? Um, Prince and how he literally, he was doing, he was living his life. He was living his best life and he was, you know, he, he was transcending sexuality and, uh, and everything. You know, like he was very feminine, and yet he picked up so many women. It was it was amazing. He he was doing his own thing, and and if and he's the kind of polarizing figure that you see so many people across many different races love. You know, whereas you, if you pay attention, you see like in general in, in general, so many people have all these um, pre, pre, uh, prejudices. They have these prejudices, right? Racism is kind of all around us, especially with Trump being president and bringing it to the fourth light, which means he's just bringing it to the light. He's bringing the darkness to the light in order for us to, to sh in order for us to shine some light on it. He's bringing the darkness up, and then we can shine our light on it. You know. Um, yeah, I don't focus on racism too much. I, you know, I'm not. <laughs> There are people that if you say that you don't see race, they will get mad at you. But like kids don't see race until we tell tell them about race. And it's one thing to tell them about race, but it's one thing to pass on the prejudices of those races, you know. And they people live in those. But anyways, back to the whole thing. Do you think that people are hitting on you because they they would rather be you? Like I'm sure a lot of people would love to do things like that Prince did, you know. But they they would be too afraid. Um, a lot of things that I, that I'm into right now, growing up religious you know growing up as a catholic these are things that i would have been like holy crap like no this is not good i would have been so fearful in fact you know when my if you go on my instagram you see that i have gone naked on there and i love the naked body it's the naked body is art some of our best masterpieces are art i'm going to like you know to to malls where they have big statues of naked people butts penises and everything and you know and it's all over in art but when it comes to the actual physical body, like there's this guilt or shame associated with it. It's been sexualized. Anything can be sexualized, guys. So people get turned on by beards. Are we going to start covering beards now? People can get turned on by eyes. People get turned on by eyebrows, feet, especially. Feet is a big thing. Are we going to start covering our feet all the time? Is, are, are, are we going to start to censor feet? We censor the woman's nipple. Like At least Instagram is getting better with that. You can put a nipple on there if you're breastfeeding. But... There's no need for the, for the body to be sexualized like that. If you're always thinking about the naked body as a sex object, you know, it takes away from the soul because we're not our bodies. We're not our bodies. We're not our thoughts. We are so much more than that. We are infinite. We are energy beings. We are star seeds. We are spiritual beings having an earthly experience. You know, it's a beautiful thing. We need to transcend that. So the people that are stuck in like still seeing that the body is just purely sexual, and, they're, and it, that's kind of a lower vibrational thing. You gotta, you gotta see it as more than that. You know, some people think, oh, if, you, if they see somebody naked, like then after that they lose interest, or after they've had sex with somebody they lose interest. But there's so much more than, you know, a big ass and big boobs and and all that. There's so much more to the world than that, you know. But to get to that point, you have to do some inner work. You have to question yourself. You have to, you have to be able to go within yourself and take some beliefs out, take some thoughts out. You have to think for yourself, and that is hard because we grow up asking for approval. We grow up waiting for approval. We, grow, we go in school waiting to be graded. You know, we grow up in school saying, "Oh, when we get an F, it's a failure. It's a bad thing." Things like that. You know, and if you go and you go to school too, you have to realize. A lot of this information is being controlled, and a lot of people are being fed the same thing, being fed the same thing through school, being fed the same thing through TV, through radio, uh, through the news. It's a conspiracy, but you can get out of it by thinking for yourself. And that's really what, I'm, what this channel is here for. I want to inspire people to think for themselves. I don't want followers. I want leaders. I want people. I want free thinkers. What, you don't have to do what I do. You don't have to go vegan. You don't have to call yourself spiritual or do anything like I do. Just, just when you're with yourself... You know, check in with yourself every day and make sure that you are really following your heart. Make sure that you're not looking for everybody else's approval and forgetting about your own approval. Do not forget to live your best life. And that's my video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Love yourself. Be yourself because everyone else is taken. It's the, it's the path of least resistance, you know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And make your way out to nature, guys. It's beautiful out here.